this video, I will demonstrate how to perform a straight beam calibration with the Olympus Epic 650 flaw detector. For this example, I will be using a 5 MHz transducer and calibrating to a 1018 carbon steel 5-step test block with a minimum thickness of 100 thousandths and maximum thickness of 500 thousandths. The metric equivalents are 2.5 mm and 12.5 mm respectively. Certainly any step block can be used, however please keep in mind it should represent the minimum and maximum of your measurement range. Before beginning the calibration, we'll need to adjust the instrument settings appropriately for the step block we are calibrating to. This includes entering an approximate velocity for the step block material, setting the range a bit larger than the maximum step thickness, selecting a frequency that matches the probes, as well as a filter that encompasses this frequency. Additionally, while not seen in this video, I recommend adding 12 dB of gain so that when the probe is first coupled to the step block, strong visible backwall echoes appear on screen. Now that we have completed the instrument setup, we can press the F5 key to enter the AutoCal menu and begin the calibration. Press the P5 key to select Gate 1 Start and move the gate so that it begins just after the initial pulse. Couple the transducer to the minimum thickness step on your test block. Depending on the thickness and range setting used, a single backwall echo or multiple backwall echoes may appear. Be sure the peak of the first backwall echo is positioned within the gate. You may notice a small red triangle above the gate which indicates echo detection. Use the auto 80% function by pressing the second F and gate's hotkeys to bring the echo amplitude to 80% full screen height. Press P3 on the keypad and use the knob to adjust the zero calibration value to match the minimum thickness step. Press P3 again to continue with the calibration. Now couple the transducer to the maximum thickness step on your test block and once again be sure the peak of the backwall echo is positioned within the gate. Use the auto 80% function to bring the echo amplitude to 80% full screen height then press the P2 key and use the knob to adjust the velocity calibration value to match the maximum thickness step. Press P2 again to select done to complete the calibration. The EPIC 650's velocity and zero values are now calibrated to the material and thickness range of the test block used. Verify your calibration by checking the thickness measurement at each step on your test block.